What's up guys, welcome back. Spring has officially sprung and my contractor has finally finished my outdoor kitchen and I couldn't wait to get out here and show you guys how to make some barbecue chicken on the grill. Today we're gonna split the chicken in half. I'm gonna make a homemade barbecue sauce. We're gonna make it on the big green egg and you guys are gonna love it. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Obviously for a chicken, we need a whole chicken. This is a five pound bird we're going with today. We're gonna to use our kitchen scissors, cut this in half. We got our brown sugar, our ketchup, some apple cider vinegar, a little worst word in the world sauce, some liquid smoke, some molasses. That's probably been in the back of your pantry for the last few years. Make sure you check the date. Honey, some chipotle peppers and adobo, and one lime. That's gonna round out our barbecue sauce. And then we're going with the dynamic duo for the seasoning on the chicken. And this episode is sponsored by Thermapro. I have used this Thermapro temp spike to ensure my meat isn't overcooked. Make sure you click the link below for an exclusive offer on the temp spike. All right guys, so today we're gonna make this on my big green egg. It's a ceramic grill, but you can use any grill that you have at home. The key to this is to set, up, set it up for indirect heating, which basically means it's not gonna be directly over the fire. By doing that, we're gonna use the plate setter that I'll show you guys in just a moment. We have lump charcoal that we're using today, and we're gonna use these cubes to get the charcoal going. All right, my friends, the charcoal is lit, which you can probably hear. We're gonna smoke the chicken in the beginning with the indirect method we talked about. For that, we're gonna use some apple wood, which pairs beautifully with chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the coals now, set in the plate setter, and get this up to about 350 degrees. All right guys, so today we're using a five pound chicken for this recipe. One of my favorite ways to do this because it's so inexpensive, you can get a whole chicken for you know pretty cheap these days, feed a crowd. So what we're gonna do first is remove the backbone. The best way to do that is to get some nice sharp kitchen scissors like we have here today. You're gonna cut down each side of the backbone like you see me doing right here. We're gonna remove that and then basically just cut the chicken right in half. This is gonna help it cook more evenly you can save this backbone and make your chicken stock, throw it in the freezer until it's time for you know, Thanksgiving. There we go. Nice and simple. You can trim any excess fat or anything that you don't wanna eat. The next step here is to take a nice sharp knife, make a little bit of an incision right there in the breastbone. And then you can basically just use your knife to cut right down the middle of the chicken. Just like that. And now you have a split chicken. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit. As you can see, we got some excess fat here. Just use your scissors to kind of clean that up. Any bone or cartilage or any fragments, you wanna get that out of there too so you don't damage your teeth later. Nice and simple though, guys. You can do as much trimming as you want. This one's pretty clean as it is. In pretty good shape. So go ahead and give it a rinse. Make sure you get all the bone and whatnot off of there. And then we'll season this up. All right, my friends, once you got your chicken nice and clean, we're gonna go ahead and season it up. Feel free to use whatever your favorite chicken seasoning is. A little barbecue rub will work good here. Any all purpose. I'm using mine today, which is like a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, a few other spices and whatnot. We also have my lemon bay, which is like a great blend of lemon pepper and some Cajun flavors as well. But go ahead and use whatever flavors you like. A straight up lemon pepper rub will work good, a barbecue rub. McCormick's got a few good chicken seasonings out there. Don't be shy to use whatever you like. But for me, we're going AP and a nice healthy dose of lemon bay. Lemon bay is gonna add some beautiful color. Some of that lemon flavor is gonna work nicely with the chicken as well. We got the applewood smoke rolling gonna be a delicious chicken. One pro tip guys, is I like to season the presentation side last. 
That way you can get a nice even coverage. You don't smear it too much by moving it around. That's gonna ensure you get even color when it goes on the grill. For those of you guys without a grill, you can do this in the oven as well. Set your oven temperature to 350, put this on a little wire rack and just basically roast it. So for the best results, you wanna do what's called a dry brine, which is we're gonna go ahead and season the chicken now, pop it into the refrigerator, and let those uh, flavors really penetrate the meat and season the inside of the chicken. Also what happens is the skin starts to dry, and that's gonna ensure you get nice crispy skin. Once we put that barbecue sauce on there, it's gonna be bite through skin, which is what you wanna see. All right guys, so the most important thing to get right when you're cooking chicken is the internal temperature. That's gonna ensure that it's not dry by overcooking it, and obviously you wanna make sure that it's safe to eat. The best way to do that was with a digital food thermometer. Today we're using the Temp Spike from Thermapro. This is a great tool to use and it's gonna ensure that our chicken is cooked to perfection. The Temp Spike from Thermapro is a truly wireless meat thermometer with up to a 500 foot remote range. This Bluetooth grill thermometer monitors your cooking from 500 feet away by using the most stable radio frequency available on the market. It's equipped with a pair of advanced heat sensors. This digital meat thermometer can track cooking temperatures both inside and outside your food. Enjoy 100% wire-free cooking and the convenience of a no-hassle setup. And this bad boy is fully equipped with a feature-packed app. It comes with estimated cooking times, USDA meat presets, alert notifications, and a timer. All right guys, so the grill is almost up to temperature. We're gonna go ahead and take our meat probe, stick it into the thickest part of the breast. That way we can get an accurate read. You wanna make sure you're not hitting any bone or anything like that. We're looking for 165 degrees internal temperature on the chicken. All right guys, so we're sitting at about 136 degrees on the chicken. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. Once it hits about 150 degrees, we're gonna brush it with that homemade barbecue sauce, let it caramelize. And then when it hits 165, we're gonna remove it and get in there for a taste test. All right guys, so we're gonna warm our skillet to begin cooking or making our homemade barbecue sauce. We got about a tablespoon of butter in there already melted. We're also gonna go ahead and add in our brown sugar. Quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out. Here comes the ketchup, about a cup of that. Then we have our molasses. This is my favorite barbecue sauce right now, guys. I'm not just saying it because I'm making it but I've been working on barbecue sauce recipes for quite some time now, and I think I finally nailed it. A little liquid smoke. Gotta have a little worse word in the world sauce, about a tablespoon of that. Give that a good little mix. Working over medium heat, we're not in a rush here. We just want this to kind of simmer, all those flavors to come together. Now, one of my secret ingredients here is a little bit of the juice from the can of Chipotle peppers. So you can kind of squeeze it. If you're feeling real spicy, then you can go ahead and blend one of these up and add it to your sauce. But I don't want it to be too spicy. I really just want that smoky flavor that's very unique to these Chipotle peppers. Adds a really nice element to the flavor profile of the barbecue sauce. So I'm just gonna kind of squeeze. If a little bit of pepper gets in there, I'm not gonna lose my mind, but I don't want it to be too much in there. Mostly the juice. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic, about a teaspoon of garlic. Plenty of honey, cause why the hell not? We're here for a good time, not a long time. About a quarter cup of that. You can add more if you need it. And then a little bit of all purpose seasoning. We're gonna allow that to simmer reduce and all the flavors to come together. As always guys, taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. You can make this sweet, spicy. You can take it wherever you want to guys. We're also gonna add just a little bit of apple cider vinegar 
and let this reduce and thicken up. There we go. We increase the heat just a touch. Let that come up to a simmer. As you can see, we've got a little bit of chipotle pepper in there. Not enough to scare me, but enough to get a little heat, a little bit of the flavor. And we're just going to let that thicken up and reduce. And we're going to brush that on our chicken once it hits 150 degrees. Allow that to caramelize beautifully. You're going to have some great chipotle barbecue chicken. So really, guys, you want to give this sauce a good, you know, 15 minutes or so to really come together and reduce. It'll thicken up as it cooks. Got a nice, beautiful color to it. That's going to go great on this chicken. All right, we're going to go ahead and start adding some of this sauce on there. Don't be shy. Got my brush for the for the fine tuning. I can feel the skin is nice and crispy. The sauce is going to caramelize beautifully. The last five or ten minutes on the grill. You got yourselves the perfect barbecue chicken, guys. You kick off the barbecue season with this chicken. You might not be able to keep people away from your house. So be careful. All right, so our beautiful chicken just came off the big green egg. You guys have got to try this recipe. This is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. The only thing left to do, my friends, is dig in here for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and carve this up. Super easy. Just take your blade right in between the joint of the leg quarter and the breast. You can see it's perfectly cooked. Oh, man, it's juicy. Then you can do the same thing. Take your knife right here on this joint separate the drum and that's what we're going with for the taste test my friends here goes nothing damn she's juicy